Hey, what's up? My name is Todd, and I am one half of Multicultural, as it currently stands, Population Dos, with my Diego Brandon. Um, we're going to have some podcasts on this channel together, so you'll get to see who that fool is, but today it's just me. I'm doing a uh, review of the Lynx Eden, my little vaporizer that I love so much. Um, <laughs> I smoked enough that like actual smoke was becoming a problem, so I was forced to vaporize by my wife, lest they die of bong lung, as you do. So yeah, let's get into it. This thing is pretty nice. A uh, little handheld vape that was 100 bucks. Got that a couple months ago. Um, been using it half the time. <laughs> so it really has helped improve my breathing. So yeah, young stoners out there, get in the habit of vaping earlier than old man, old man Todd. All right, so this will be a review of the Lynx Eden. It's a uh, herb or concentrate vaporizer. And so comes in a nice box, pretty artsy, pretty good, pretty sturdy. This isn't an actual unboxing because I've used it for a couple of weeks. <clears throat> and in fact, this is actually my second unit because the first one broke after about one week. Um, so maybe it's been more about three weeks that I've been using the second one they sent me. <clears throat> I'm really happy with it, really happy with both of them, uh, just the first one seem to have like a manufacturer's defect. They were really good about uh, sending out a replacement. So I feel um, extra good about giving them a review because I know what happens if your unit doesn't work, um, that they replace it quickly. And the one they replaced it with was, works really nice. So yeah, about three weeks worth of use um, on this newer one. So you can see like this glass piece isn't perfectly clean, but it actually stays clean for the most part when you use this thing multiple times a day. Um, make it a little bit easier for you guys to see inside but there's the uh, chamber it's probably hard to see but the cylinder goes down a little bit and that's pretty much what you're going to fill and you're really not going to want to pack that too tight and then this little circular part is kind of a bowl shape um i don't try to get any dry herb in there i generally try to shake it all into the bottom don't really pack it in like i said and then you have sort of a let's get this in your view you have sort of a little spring-loaded guy here with a mesh. Um, I know the camera's probably not picking up the mesh there, but that's what's inside that circle there. That's the one part you're probably going to have to clean between uh, bowls. It uh, comes with a little um, comes with a little brush. I would recommend uh, just packing that thing with you. Um, and then every now and then, you can unscrew this from here. Unscrew the piece that holds the glass down right here and take this whole thing apart into about three different little pieces. You can clean everything with alcohol, it'll come out real nice. Comes with uh, multiple glass pieces here, but we'll uh, go into that in a second when we do the rest of the box. <clears throat> so that's really the unit. Um, the camera probably wouldn't pick them up, but there's three little br uh, breath holes right there. That's where the uh, air is gonna come in when you're drying through the straw. It's gonna come right through the little cylinder where Sorry, the hotter is going to come through the cylinder because the uh, ceramic heater is right about here in the unit. And then that's going to bring hot air through the cannabis up through the straw. And that's just what's going to get you the oils without actually combusting it. So they've got a cool logo, the Lynx. And then on the bottom here, you've got the text of the company. And then you've got a USB-C charger here. Um, so that's pretty convenient that it goes with modern phones, carry one cable. Then the only button to operate the machine is this one. One, two, three, four, five. Starts the machine. And you'll see how it's telling me right there it is powering up. Um, that is a yellow color. So let's go one, two, three. We just went hotter. We went to the hottest color now, which is red. If we go one, two, three again, you'll see blue. That's the coldest one. One, two, three. And see, actually, it just vibrated to let me know that it's hot. It's up to this temperature now. So if we wanted to smoke at the lowest temperature, then we'd start. Um, you see the two bars or two little dots. That's going to tell me that I am 50% or so on the battery. Um, if I go one, two, three like this. We're going to go to green, second hottest. And because we just went up in heat, see how it took a second there to warm itself up to that green setting. Do it again, one, two, three. Right, yellow. This is probably where I do most of my vaporizing. Um, sometimes I'll start on a green one if I'm taking like a leisurely walk and I plan on puffing a bowl for a while. I'll actually kind of do like a few minutes on the green, a few minutes on the yellow, a few minutes on the red. Um, 
Well, more than, actually I shouldn't say a few minutes on the red. Usually it's like one or two puffs to make sure I really got everything out of the weed. Um, so what do you do? One, two, three, four, five again, turn it off. Um, the other setting this can do is if you hold it down, you'll see how these lights just came up white. And every time we press that, we get a different brightness setting. When you find the brightness you want, I'll say like full brightness, go ahead and hold it down again. And once that goes away, um, the lights in this stage are going to be at whatever brightness you selected. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll turn this guy off again. Um, it's that simple. Um, the temperatures are pretty good. They've, I actually haven't gotten to do concentrates to this. That's, um, I wonder if you'd want to start on red maybe, or maybe start on yellow and finish with red. Kind of how I start on green and finish with yellow with most of my bowls. And then sometimes I do a hit or two with red at the end. Um, this is something I glossed right over, but this is a good little cap. Keeps the mouthpiece clean when it's in your pocket. It's magnetic. You saw how at first it didn't set down right away, but it still didn't fall off. Give it, you know, a little tap and it will go right down. Um, that's a really nice feature. Just drop that in your pocket while you're smoking and then put it back on when you're putting it away. So, that's the unit itself. There's not, a, it's sturdy. Um, it's a good little piece. The battery life isn't uh, crazy good, but it also charges really fast, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, I have a little carrying kit with a small uh, external battery for both my phone and my uh, little vaporizer, and it works just fine for me. Um, it shuts off after four minutes, and I probably usually find myself firing it up twice most of the time. So I might not use a whole eight minutes, might be more like six, but with that in mind, probably smoke about, well, if I was going to run the battery dead, it could be up to like maybe 10 or a dozen bulls. I usually don't do that though. Usually so six or seven, um, I'm on that one half or one quarter and I want to go ahead and charge it. Um, or whenever I sit down at the desk and I have a couple of uh, USB cables handy, just go ahead and charge it um, throughout the day. I, I do use this thing quite a lot. Um, so that's the unit itself. Pretty nice. They come with a lot of nice accessories, so here's the box. You see uh, that logo again, pretty cool. And then this here is like the little foam that kept the vaporizer safe for its travels. We didn't look at this yet, but this is just some instructions and explanations of the features, along with a cool sticker. So flip through that when you get one of these things put the sticker on something later and USB cable pretty straightforward I did already take it out of here didn't I okay <laughs> yeah USB cables pretty nice it's nylon wrapped it's got their logo it's got the cool cat thing there and then at the other end we've got nylon and stuff it's good quality. Um, I actually carry this one around as the main charging cable for my phone and this vaporizer because it is the nicest one. I couldn't remember if that cable was from the old vape I had. When uh, One thing about the customer service that was cool is they said, just send back the vape, keep all your accessories. And then when they determined it needed to be replaced, they sent back, they sent me a whole new box vaporizer. So I got really lucky and I have extra of these little small parts. Um, a lot of these are available on their website too. So the parts that are kind of consumable, you can get new ones. Um, so speaking of that, these lava stones, um, I did use concentrate in the first one. I kind of forgot about that actually. And these actually worked really well. That's what these are for. Um, you would go ahead and just spread um, any kind of wax or any kind of like, I don't know, whatever you're going to try to use for concentrate. I suppose it can't be too terribly liquidy. Um, it might gunk up the inside of the vape. But uh, when I did it, I still put some green herb on the bottom to sort of support these so they didn't fall all the way <clears throat> to the bottom. And it was good. Flavor is good. Um, I definitely got the hash. Some of it probably kind of melted it into these things. And I'm sure once they get saturated, they might, um, you might be able to almost like dry hit them, you know. And then I'm, I can also see these things kind of wearing out. Um, they're kind of like a steel wool that's been all like wrapped together. And I could see these things kind of probably wearing out after time. Um, maybe not. I haven't smoked that much uh, hash out there to find that out. So those are cool. They call them the uh, the lava plates. Otherwise, 
the one that's left is just the generalized accessories. So this is where we're going to see like some spare parts. Um, just in case you do drop it and that glass piece breaks, you have a couple more. One of the things I don't actually find myself using, but they do have it, is this silicone sleeve. It fits right over, um, fits right over the whole unit. You still have a spot for your charger, you still have a spot for the lights, um, the vent holes, and the button is outlined, the logo is outlined. So if you like that kind of thing, it does, the unit get, does get pretty hot. So this probably would do a pretty good job protecting you. That comes with a corresponding cap that goes on just this part. So just the part where like you screw it off and you still see the metal there. Um, that does get particularly hot and it warns you. Uh, there's text on there telling you that, that it gets hot. So um, sometimes, like with my wife's going to hit this with me, I'll often just bring this little ring and throw it on. Um, I don't tend to use this guy because I'm worried that it might hold the heat up against the battery and just shorten its life. But I'm probably being a little like too worried about that. <laughs> so it's probably not a big deal to use the the silicone sleeve, I don't think. Um, let's see. It also comes with little silicone sleeves for the glass. The glass piece actually gets hot um, in and of itself too, so this is a good solution. So it comes with three of those. So far it's going with three of all these consumable parts. Um, or parts you could lose. But yeah, so you can you can really cover this whole thing in silicone and you could wash the silicone obviously, put that right through your dishwasher. Um, you know, maybe even like you could, uh, if you shared this vape with someone, I suppose you could actually switch these mouthpieces out between users. <laughs> But more likely, you're probably just using a new one every day and then throwing them in the wash or something, the dish machine. Um, comes with just one of the uh, new glass pieces. That's not something you really need to replace almost ever. Um, it really doesn't get all that dirty. Uh, I've never cleaned it. It's weeks old and I smoke like crazy. Oh, here's the second one. Good. So I think maybe does each unit come with two or three? Aha, three. So yeah, everything's been threes in terms of the backup so far. Um, and then last on the backup guys would be once again three of the little mesh guys. So earlier when I pointed out when you open this guy up, this is the top. And here's your mesh guy here. This is what you're obviously he's holding the, the doge down in that little cylinder. Um, that is, like I said, the part that gets the most dirty. So I actually probably would carry this in my little daily smoking kit along with the brush they come with. This is the uh, last thing in the accessory box. But this one's good just to kind of wipe wipe that thing off. But the oil, uh, the oils or the resin or whatever, it does kind of get stuck behind here eventually and toward the mouthpiece. When you find yourself having to work too hard to take a draw, that's a good time to pull the whole thing apart. Uh, either put new pieces in if you're like too busy or uh, take all your metal and glass and put that in the, uh, put it in scrubbing alcohol. Everything should kind of just work its way off the metal and the glass uh, after it soaks long enough. And all the silicone can go through the dish machine pretty easy. So, and when I say silicone through the dish machine, uh, we're parents. And so we have like those little doodads that like take all the kids' uh, bottle parts, the tiny little parts for all their bottles, and keeps those from falling into the machine. I'd imagine you want some kind of little cage like that. You're not going to put those little silicone pieces in like a silverware drawer because they'll just go flying and get lost, <laughs> you know. So that's the Lynx. Eden. I dig it. Uh, I got mine for about 100 bucks a couple months ago. Um, like I said, good customer service. Uh, shipping was fast on both units. Tracking was nice, you know. Um, yeah, I, th I think they came from LA and I think I got it to my door in like three days in Northern California. So I was pretty stoked on that. Um, yep, yeah, get a good, uh, good email for customer support and they'll get back to you fast. They'll turn it around and get your unit back to you. I think my tracking showed my unit got there on like a Thursday. And then Friday afternoon, this guy was already back in the mail because they opened the box, took a look, and said, ah, just give me a new one, whatever. So cool. I can recommend this guy wholeheartedly. Uh, comment uh, with any questions, and I'll get back. Thanks all.